Hi. I'm going to show you something cool. So, I've been playing with Blender a lot lately. More so playing, you know, actually producing content for my game. And um, in researching how to use Blender, I came across something cool. 3D Mice. So I, uh, I ordered the cheapest one I could find. It's this guy here. This is a cool little 3D mouse thing. What it, did, what it is is basically it's just a fancy joystick. Uh, like you, uh, you push it forward, you push it back, left, right, up and down. You li like really lift it up and down. So you kind of just hold it and you can, you know, you can kind of maneuver around up, down, left, right. Uh, you even twist it to do some roll. And then you can combine the motions to do all kinds of control stuff. And the reason why someone would want that is, well, it's not a particularly good tool for actually editing, but for browsing or manipulating uh, or, or viewing, actually, it's actually really nice. So I can say, play around my program here, Blender. I can get nice and close real easily, zoom in, zoom out, fly around my object. It's, it's really nice, really neat for doing this sort of a thing, like just flying around. Um, and apparently that actually is something you would do quite often when building a 3D model. Now, the way I have it set up is I have the 3D mouse on the one side, keyboard in the middle, and real mouse on the other side just because I'm right-handed. Uh, and that's actually a good way to use it. You, you use the navigation in the one hand and you use your mouse in the other. I would demonstrate that, but I'm using my hand to hold the camera. Um, now, okay, I'll move to another hand. Now, normally, normally you would do stuff in Blender is you would right-click to select things, and uh, um, you know you could then use the doodad to spin around your object and make your selections and whatnot. But one kind of a flaw that I have to point out. Um, to this setup is that if your hand is on the 3D mouse here, you can't hold down shift to select multiple points. Let's try that again. Click, click, see? And that's not good. That's, uh, that's kind of odd. So I guess um, using something like this in a program like Blender, you would not continuously have your hand on this 3D mouse. It would basically be jumping between the keyboard and the mouse, depending on what you're doing. Because Blender is a very keyboard-driven program. Like, to actually select objects, you have to push the Tab key to go into Edit Mode, and then you want to deselect with the A key. It's very keyboard-driven. You know, it's not a program you want to use without a keyboard. Like, even especially some of the fancy actions in Blender, you want to actually uh, type them in. So, for example, if we switch to this mode here... Um, okay, I'm going to hold this at a funny angle, I apologize. Click, click... Sorry, okay, so now I got my face selected. And I'm going to subdivide it. Um, I can then navigate around my object, find a good angle for what I'm trying to see what I'm doing with. And other hand, I could grab, whoops. Okay, let's deselect. I could grab that edge there and grab the node and then just start pushing it inside the face. So, if I had two hands, this would look a lot better, but one's taken up by a camera. Anyways, I just wanted to show this. I thought, the, I thought this was pretty neat. I don't yet know if it's going to speed me up in, actual, in the actual modeling of 3D objects, but at the very least, it's cool. It works as a standard human interface device in Windows. Um, basically, it's, it's a, just a USB device that detects and has no special uh, function, but Blender's designed to, to, to read it. I don't know specifically how it's implemented, but I think they probably use something called uh, LibUSB, which basically you just pass the ID of the device that's attached, and if it's attached, you can start talking to it, getting messages and sending messages, however it works. I suspect they use that because it's cross-platform, and I would use it. So that's that. Oh, let's do fly mode. Okay, and we, we, can, we, can, we can navigate a bunch of interesting ways. This one is, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up on it, to go up and down, and then turn it to rotate, then left, right. This is not a good control scheme for a 3D shooter, 
but it is nice that it's all localized. All of your your controls, your your rotating, your 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 panning, your your, your yawing, all that stuff. Your zooming and just generally flying around is all on this one device instead of having to hold a WASD plus some other controllers and a mouse. Yeah, you pretty much need WASD and a mouse to navigate. But with this thing, you can do it with just a one. Push enter, and then we can go back to object mode. Okay, that's it. Just playing around. I don't know if I recommend it yet, but I think it's cool. Um, it's too early to know if I'm actually going to be improved productivity-wise or whatever because of this thing. Deselect. But you can do cool spinning of objects with this little doodad. Okay, done.